Okay, yesterday, Leica announced that it was putting back into production, 20 years after it stopped making them, the Leica M6 rangefinder film camera. And this is super exciting for anybody who shoots film as the M6 is a legendary, iconic film camera, but it's also not been produced for 20 years. So why is this a big deal? Now I've talked about my experience with the M6 recently. I've written about it on my blog, it's on Medium, I've been posting a lot of photos over the past couple of months taken on my M6, and even just a quick search on YouTube or Instagram or any other social media platform will show that the M6 is a wildly popular camera for film photographers. So I wanted to break down why I think that is, and then talk a little bit about what I think the impact of Leica bringing this camera back into production might have for the camera industry as a whole, not just for film photographers. So let's talk about quality and craftsmanship. The Leica M6 is made by hand. The original round of M6s were produced from 1984 to 2002. Those 22 years of production, each Leica M6 was made by hand. The new Leica M6s that are put into production now are also made by hand. They feel different, they feel strong, they feel durable, and the precision engineering that Leica is known for is absolutely applied to the production of these cameras. They are built with such a high standard that you know that when you pick up a Leica, in particularly something like the Leica M6, which is a fully manual camera, that it is built to last. With a little bit of love and care, these cameras can last decades upon decades of use. The second is history and legacy. Leica itself is practically synonymous with reportage and street photography. Many of the great, great photographers who were pioneers in their genres, people like Henri Cartier-Bresson, William Klein, Saul Leiter, Bruce Gilden, and many others shoot on Leica. Now the M6 was not available for lots of these people because it only started being produced in 1984, but Leica itself as a manufacturer has a storied legacy within the photography community. Leicas are durable. They have been around the world and some of the greatest photographers all have used Leicas, swore by Leicas. And that legacy, the synonymous nature of a Leica with high quality performance and high level photography is really important as we consider why a brand like Leica would bring a camera like the M6 back into production 20 years later. A big part of that is for the brand name and the history and legacy associated with Leica as a brand. The M6 also has broad appeal because of its simplicity and function. It's a fully manual camera, meaning that even if there is a battery in it to power the light meter, which looks at exposure, which is available on some models, although not all, the camera itself does not need this to work. The Aperture, the shutter speed are fully manual, meaning that I adjust them based on to what I need and taking into account the ISO or ASA, the, the speed of the film that I've loaded into the camera, but everything works fully manually. So the fact that it is super simple and its function is designed to always work, and with just a little bit of love and care, this camera can last for decades, definitely gives it an appeal. The M6 is also a rangefinder camera, which means that when you look through the viewfinder, you're not seeing the light that's directly coming into the lens. Unlike an SLR or a DSLR, what happens is when you look through the viewfinder on those cameras, the light enters the lens, hits a mirror, and reflects back up into the viewfinder. So your image in an SLR or a DSLR is exactly what's coming through the lens. Um, the advantage of this is you know exactly what the photo is that you're taking. The disadvantage is you can't see anything that's outside of that frame. A rangefinder gives the advantage of being able to see outside of the actual frame that the lens is going to capture. When you look through the viewfinder of a rangefinder, you see frame lines depending on the lens that you have attached to the camera, but you also see space outside of that. And why this is useful is because for reportage or for street photography, you can actually see things that are going to be entering the frame or leaving the frame, allowing you to have a better sense of timing to really hit that perfect composition. 
Another very important piece of why the M6 is so popular is design, and I'll let Leica speak for themselves on this one. M cameras have not only been capturing iconic images for decades, they have become icons themselves. Simple elegance, absolute reliability, and high quality materials combine in the iconic design that defines every M camera. Design that stands the test of time. For instance, thanks to the highly scratch resistant lacquer, solid brass top cap, and robust leatherette that is used for the M6. In addition, the anti-reflective coating of the glass surfaces prevents disruption from scattered light. True to the original from 1984, the new generation is adorned with the red lights logo. Okay, so that's all why the Leica M6 has been and continues to be so popular for so many photographers today. But what does Leica bringing the M6 back into production 20 years later have to do with us now? And what is the possible impact that it might have on the industry? My thoughts. First is that the megapixel race is over. When even an iPhone has 40 plus megapixels and Canon, Sony, Fuji, Nikon, everybody has professional level cameras and beginner level cameras with really high quality, high number megapixel counts. The, the race to have the largest sensor with the most megapixels is, is essentially over. And today, many photographers' preferences largely come down to form factor and brand loyalty more than the technical specs. What we are used to, we tend to stick to. So the camera that you start on, for many people, often remains the brand that you remain loyal to. There's a stickiness to brands. The lenses you buy are not necessarily transferable across different systems. So if you start on Canon and start accumulating a collection of lenses that you use for your Canon cameras, it's an expensive proposition to switch to Sony, to switch to Nikon, to switch to Fuji, even to switch to Leica. So the brand loyalty is almost more important than the technical specs for many users at this point because the technical prowess of so many cameras is so good now that something like megapixels is not irrelevant but is basically table stakes for the category at this point. I think another impact is that quality is going to continue to become more important than quantity. We've all had digital cameras for decades at this point, and iPhones, and you can take as many photos as you want on any of those. They're super smart, they've got great computers in there that do a lot of the thinking for you. Something like the M6 does none of the thinking for you. And there's certainly sort of a slow production uh, sort of take on the world that many photographers are leaning into with film in general, but even with their digital cameras. And Leica is banking on the fact that people really care about having to be a little bit more intentional with the way that they are making photos. These cameras do not think for you. They do not do anything for you, but allow you to capture the composition in the way that you want to do it. But it requires a slowing down and an intent and a meaningful purpose in making the photos that you want to make. You know, it's not inexpensive to shoot film these days. An individual roll of film can be upwards of you know, 10, 15, even more than $20 in some cases. And that's just to buy the film, not to develop it and have it scanned. So there is a real cost to working in film, but Leica is banking on the fact that people want something that requires a little bit more attention. And certainly there's a market of photographers out there who shoot nothing but film or who really advocate for the slowness and intention required in creating photography that is made on film and with cameras like the Leica M6. But most importantly, and I think the biggest impact that potentially this announcement from Leica yesterday has is a signal to the world that film is not dead, that there is profit to be had for the types of photographers who also want to shoot on film. I personally use digital and analog photography depending on the type of job, depending on the type of trip, depending on the type of situation. They both have power, but most of the major camera manufacturers for the past 20 years or so have not put any investment into film. The uh, producers of the actual films themselves have continuously be, been discontinuing films as opposed to increasing production on most of them. And sure, there are, there are small upstart film producers um, 
labs like Cinestill, et cetera, that are making interesting new film stocks for photographers to use, but the manufacturers of the camera bodies themselves have not been playing along until now. Leica is a business, and surely they see a market where there is opportunity to capture some profit. And yes, all of the things that I've mentioned before about quality, about functionality, about design are important, but at the end of the day, Leica getting back into the production of the M6 and beginning to produce a film camera is a signal to the broader market that there is potentially untapped market share and profit available for the producers who are the first movers. I would not be surprised if we see some of the giants of film, places like Fuji and Kodak, start to step their production back up depending on how the success of this launch of the M6 actually goes for Leica. So I think it's a really interesting development that is worth us watching and paying attention. But in the meantime, we've got a whole new crop of M6s to be looking out for on the streets. So with that, live beautifully, shoot great photos, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.